The parliamentary audit is back on track after the ruling Senri party ended a week-long boycott. It's a good thing the rival parties agreed to extend the audit session by four days because already on the first day lawmakers were on the offensive. Jim Young Gil starts us off. The parliamentary audit that started last week finally got back to normal on Tuesday when the 11 parliamentary committees overseeing the audit got the session started again. Even so, the parties are still at odds over a proposed law revision sparked by the ruling Senuri Party's accusation that Assembly Speaker Chong Se-kyun abandoned his political neutrality to help the opposition. The People's Party is considering revising the parliamentary law so the Speaker's political neutrality is guaranteed. The Minju Party should also participate. The main opposition Minju Party of Korea objects to the proposal and is calling on the ruling party to refrain from sabotaging the rest of the audit. Another contentious topic concerns the corruption allegations against the country's biggest business lobby. The Federation of Korean Industries has been accused of using its influence to pressure companies into giving to two foundations that raised a staggering 65 million U.S. dollars in a relatively short period of time. Our party has heard that the Federation of Korean Industries is destroying evidence showing that it raised money for the Beater and K-Sports foundations through conglomerates. The rival parties are also at odds over whether an autopsy should be performed on a farmer who died late last month after 10 months in a coma. His family objects to an autopsy, saying the results will be used to prove that the police water cannon that knocked him down during a protest last November was not the cause of his death. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.